Hello guys, it is Mama Willow here today, and there is going to be two mods I'll be actually showcasing in this video. And it's going to be the Torvosaurus from the JFD team, and also the new Ampelosaurus that came from um, Divine Beast. So we are going to start with the Torvo. Um, this video might be long, but you know, it's going to be two mods in like in one video instead of like separate videos. So there, I've noticed already that there's not many like differences with the Torvo. Um, even the female and male skins doesn't seem like there's like a lot in common. So I'm ready to see that and let's go showcase off the Ampelo as well. So here we have the Ampelosaurus. You can already see a minor difference with the male and female skins. The female is a little bit more of a dull yellow while the male is like a little bit more brighter. Here's a defense, speed, attack, double defense, and balance. I actually really like the double defense, but it is a, it says that like my like double minus speed and if you go with a marga it's only double defense while you have you know plus speed minus defense spines cause bleed and same thing with damage but with this one it is just double defense and double minus speed so i want to actually want to give this one a, a shot so here we have the Torvo. It literally seems like the skins are the same. I don't think it ever changes, but let's go check out its calls for as a baby. Oh my god. I love the slow look around. And here's a faster one, I'm guessing, for the mystery. Like, look how little, look, look, at, look at the little legs! Now let's go check out its adult calls. So now here's the adult, and we're going to check out the calls. As you can say, uh, tell that the colors are basically the same as when it's a juvie. I don't know if it's like a mistake on their part, or, you know, it was just meant to be like that. But let's go check it out. Definitely deeper. For the three call, I really like the end of it. Like it does that little extra sound in the end. That would definitely scare me if I was in game and like realistic also playing realistically and you just like you see this one looking at you like slowly but then you have this one as well the very fast looking around Now let's go check out these skins and their abilities So already looking at these skins um it doesn't seem like there's much and I think they're broken because I'm not getting anything different. I'm pretty sure skins are broken currently. I think I'm pretty sure this mod is like is still in a huge work of progress because it doesn't <laughs> to be honest it doesn't seem like it's finished. So even with the 
um, skins not being there. Here I'm gonna showcase the abilities. That is the Venom Bite. Here is the Tail Slam. The Tail Slam doesn't seem as if it has a high cooldown. It's three seconds, so... And that is the Frenzy Call, and I will definitely showcase the rest of them. So head, um, bite. A mid, a mid damage bite with low cooldown. Destabilize a high power bite with a long cooldown. Devour a tendon tearing bite that inflicts high damage and on a target with low damage and a high cooldown. Senses, gain a 5% increase of your damage output or Prowler, gain a 5% increase of your sprint speed. Rend, a low damage swipe that inflicts bleed. Swipe a downward swipe that inflicts moderate damage. Picky, insects, minerals, and nuts give you 20% boost of your stamina and your trot speed with your hunger depleting. Oh, fuck. Yeah, I would probably would never. <laughs> Thin skin, for 5% of your combat weight gains a 15% boost to your running speed and turn radius. Scale standard guys. Blah, blah, blah. Parasite infestation at the cost of 10% of your total health gain a significant resistance to venom and poison. Caloost, a 20% increase to your armor value at the cost of 10% of your running speed. Leg sprinter, uh, you know, again gives you 10% increased sprint speed, whatnot. Marathon, 50% stamina boost at the, the cost of 10 of your turn radius, and Ambusher, gain 15% of your stamina and a 5% increase of your sprint speed. Infernal Frenzy, within a 30 meter radius, all Megalosaurs in your group are given 2.5 sprint speed with increase and 15% damage increase can stack up only two times. Blowing Pursuit, within a 100 meter radius, all megalosaurs in your group gain 7.5 sprint speed and a boost of 5% damage. So that is it for the Torvasaur. So let's go on next with the Ampelosaur. So here's the baby Ampelosaur, uh, the Ampelo. Um, I don't know why I'm saying Ampelosaur. <laughs> But here is the baby, and let's start with its calls. You know what? It's little quack and bite is so cute. Like, look how freaking cute. This is cuter than the other. This is like a lot better and a lot cuter than the other Amplo. The only, the only thing that I like about the other Amplo is that I actually like its one calls. And that, I think that's basically it. <laughs> that's its one call or broadcast. And mind you, this is double defense as well. Holy shit. It looks so darn cute, the fuck? Shaky, shaky! Oh my god. I really love it. I like its calls and I like its everything. Oh my god. Now let's get on with how the adult looks and moves and sounds. So you can already tell how good it looks while it's, you know, it's moving. Like, look. It definitely looks like a Brachiosaur. It does not, definitely does not look like an Ampelo, but like especially with this one, definitely looks like it's a Brachiosaur. And when it crouches, I know the Discord says that it gives like increased um, defense boost. Um, it's one call. It's two call. It two call sounds really genuine and I really love it. Uh. 
Yeah, I really, really do love it. It's shaky, shaky. I love how the like the bottom neck kind of like moves really side to side and not the other part. Like, look at it! And I love how it makes such a big, like, stomp once it goes back down. Look at its running, too. And here's its bite. It's like, let me bite you. <laughs> but let's get on with the skins and abilities. So already looking at the skins, it literally seems like a lot. The redneck. It literally- bro. It looks like the Carno skin um, for Primordial Tyrants. Volcano, Waterfall, Yendale, Albino, Melanistic, Skink, Calico, Savage, Canyon, Variegated, and wooden. I really like the pea bald one. Like, look at it. But yeah, let's get on with its abilities. I think you guys can imagine my shock when I see this. Head 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15! 15 slots! Whoa! Okay! Wow! Let, 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 let's go check them all out! So I think you can imagine my surprise when I didn't use all of these. <laughs> so let's go with the head. So we have the normal bite. A bite attack that deals really low damage. And then a neck slap that deals medium damage with high knockback. And the same thing with just the right. I'm only going to do the left or whatnot. I don't know. Um... Heavy stomp, do a double stomp that deals very high damage. Um, right foot, st front stomp a stomp that deals medium damage. Um, metabolism, we have picky eater, able to only eat flowers. Yampolo loses weight by 10%, but grease gains 15% speed while eating and drinking less overall. Gorger, able to eat berries, fruits, minerals, nuts, and roots. The sauropod eats faster and conserves 40% more food, but needs to be fed often. The high food intake will decrease thirst rate over time. That's over time! Um, rebounding hide increases health regen by 20% when out of combat. Spine-shaped osteoderms increase armor by 30%, but decreases movement speed by 10%. Back lands, I didn't. I'm not. I wasn't going to do this one. Right back stomp, a stomp that deals medium damage. Right back kick, a kick that deals high damage and a powerful not back. Um, right tail attack or left tail attack deals medium damage but with high knockback. And the voice rallying roar, a roar that increases armor by thirty percent to all sauropods, and it cannot be stacked. Now let's go view them all. So here, let's showcase all of them. Let's see for the stomp. Oh shit, I'd be terrified. This is just normal bite. I'm sad that it doesn't kind of correspond at all. And here's the call. So only for a minute, and the cooldown is two minutes. But I really love that stomp. It feels so freaking powerful. I think like out of the two models, this one's definitely my favorite. I don't like how stubby the other one is. But the only one that I really- the only thing that I like about the other one, like I've mentioned in the beginning, was literally just this one call, and that's it. <laughs> So that is it for today guys for the Ampelo and the Torvosaurus. I really hope you guys enjoyed watching this video and if you like it give it a thumbs up. If you want to see more videos like this, any more mod showcases or even any um, in the life of or the journey of of dinosaur series or little videos that I'm going to do from hatchling to adult if I'm on a realism server. Give me a subscribe, and if you have any more suggestions down below, 
please put them down below if, if you, when you want to see more. Goodbye, pack members, and I hope you have a nice night.